Are yields so low because of concerns outside of our borders? And if so, are they a steal right now? I mean, if you're buying a house, if you're pricing, you know, for a, a car loan or something like that, is this a gift? So I think there's there's two drivers. One is the international pressures when it comes to global growth not being what it was before. And then the other one is just the trade tensions. We have touched on this before, which is a couple of weeks back, yields started to fall, yet the equity market continued to rally. And, you know, my question is, one's got a gift. Mm -hmm. It seems like bonds are telling the story a little bit stronger, and now equities are starting to follow rather than the other way around. So your point of view, as far as the U.S. is concerned, is uh, growth is slowing down? Well, not only that growth is slowing down. One is we're in the late stage of a cycle. So at some point, domestically, things are going to slow down, even though we haven't right. seen this. It's still a mixed signal when yeah. it comes to the data. But the other aspect of it was the trade situation hasn't improved. It has deteriorated, and it seemed like the equity markets were kind of shrugging it off, while bond markets are saying, Got you know it. what, risk has gone up so a you, little bit. So you're, you're saying, and Jim, I'll ask you, it's not so much that we're pricing in in the U.S. a slowdown, although that's part of it, yep. Jim. It's more that you have to price in some outcome from tariffs now, more so than you might have a, a couple of weeks ago. Is that right? How would you describe the, the setup for investors here? Well, I, I think, Kelly, that the, the uh, slowdown globally in the United States this year is, uh, brought this about, and that was because of policy tightening, not only in the United States but around the globe, that eventually led to a slowdown. I think where we're at now, though, I think it's more about fear than fundamentals at this point. Mm. Um, we've got two things, and I might even put the bond market as the primary thing that investors are worried about at this point above the trade war. So, the, um, wait, just to be clear, you're saying stock market investors are worried about the bond market? Yes. <laughs> yes. I, 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 think, I think that's kind of where we've gotten to now. We, we've inverted this yield curve almost by a full 25 basis points from the target to your know, 250 area on the funds rate. Uh, and it just keeps falling, um, even in the face of economic news, which hasn't been all that bad. It's been mixed at worst. Um, and the stock market is wondering, what does the bond market know? But and Jim, if you put that together with an invert, inverted curve, yeah. is that some... I'm not... You know, the Kelly, I think both of our fears, if you will, yeah. the, what's interesting about this, it's not like the normal crisis of a balance sheet blowout that we can't... It's going to take a long time to fix. We could... Well, these could change on a dime. You could have a exactly. 3 a.m. tweet and you could have a Fed, Fed uh, cut and it would all change the outlook in, in a matter of minutes.